I'm Maddie GNA from Corning Incorporated, and this is Inspired by Glass. Just one year ago, we were at the 2016 Consumer Electronics Show, where we brought our vision for advanced glass technologies to life, as first seen in our A Day Made of Glass video series. Visitors were in awe of how Corning's advanced glass technologies enabled interactive and immersive experiences. We've been pushing boundaries and redefining possibilities of our advanced glass technologies to bring you the next evolution of the glass age, here in Las Vegas at CES 2017. We've taken some typical experiences and redefined their capabilities. Imagine driving, collaborating, and even exercising in completely new ways, all enabled by our precision glass. You no longer have to imagine because we've brought them here to CES. Are you ready to experience it? Let's talk with Jeff Evenson, Corning's Chief Strategy Officer, about Corning's presence at CES 2017. Jeff, thanks so much for joining me in the Glass Age today. You're welcome. I'm glad to be here, Maddie. Can you tell me a little bit about Corning's presence and the vision behind our booth this year? The pace of glass innovation has been increasing significantly in recent years. And at CES 2017, our goal is to capture the imagination of designers and other innovators. We want to educate them about the unique properties of advanced glass and its role in solving some really tough technology challenges. Uh, due to advances in our ability to formulate and fabricate advanced glass, we're able to tune its properties for specific applications. We can make glass in large sheets that's flexible, glass that withstands the impact of steel balls, glass that can suppress the growth of bacteria, fungi, and other microbes, and glass that, of course, is sensitive to the human touch that covers almost 5 billion mobile devices today. Corning's Connected Car features exterior glazing technologies as well as sleek interior glass surfaces. How are we enabling the ultimate driving experience? The automotive industry is a great example of a market where highly advanced glass can enhance form and function while addressing some critical industry challenges. We see those challenges not only as better handling cars, but cars that are cleaner, safer, and more connected. We initially targeted the automotive market because Gorilla Glass is lightweight. We thought that would clearly address fuel economy needs and also provide better handling. And it does. But as we began to work with auto manufacturers, we found out that the advantaged optics of Gorilla Glass for head-up displays, that its toughness to add durability and touch sensitivity to the next generation of connected cars were huge benefits and is an exciting market opportunity for Corning that we think over time could be as attractive and large as our existing display business. Corning's Fitness Mirror is combining access to on-demand content, real-time biometric updates from your wearable, as well as personal training, all within one display. What role is Precision Glass playing in enabling this fitness experience? An important theme of this year's CES is that supply chains exist in the world to take various components put them together to make focused and exciting new applications. And that's what we've done with the Fitness Mirror. Precision Glass is playing three important roles in this product. Let's work from the outside all the way back. On the outside, we have Gorilla Glass, which is our toughness optimized glass. Here, we're using it with a partial mirror that provides the uh, athlete with feedback on his or her performance, and also as a touch surface to access the content. Behind the Gorilla Glass, you have a high resolution display, capabilities going up, costs going down, so it makes this very practical. A big part of the reason cost is going down is because of advances we've made in the production of glass. Uh, it has two sheets of Corning glass in it, and of course, to get the on-demand content, it travels over Corning's optical fiber. The Collaboration Hub for the Office and the Collaboration Hub for the Home are extending productivity beyond the walls around you. Jeff, how do these hubs function and what role do they play in the changing work environment? As we look at what's going on in the workplace, we see more and more global teams. 
more benefits of collaboration across disciplines and bigger teams doing that. And also companies reaching out to freelancers and participants in the gig economy. The idea of the collaboration hubs is to facilitate the interchange of ideas and just basically dissolve distance. Uh, Advanced Glass plays several important roles. The surface of our collaboration hubs is Gorilla Glass. That allows for uh, not only a great viewing experience, but very responsive touch. Uh, here, touch is important not only to access your content, but also because team members want to collaborate by writing and sketching. So we're using Gorilla as the surface for that. Then the display itself, and then of course, to make those sketches come out wherever your teammates are in the world, they have to be connected over high performance uh, optical fiber. That comes from Corning as well. The Glassy Station is a fun and interactive way for our booth visitors to take their Glass Age experience with them once they leave CES. But Jeff, what is a Glassy? Augmented reality and virtual reality are two of my favorite trends in consumer electronics. Both depend on advanced glass in several ways. Getting huge amounts of information to the devices themselves, moving light in precise ways to have a high resolution realistic image for the user. But reality is in three dimensions, so there's a missing ingredient. You need to extend the selfie from 2D to 3D. And we achieve that with the Glassy. Using 3D image capture and advanced processing, we turn you into a 3D image that can be embedded into various virtual environments. Here in a booth, we embed you here in your choice of environment, but we also give you, as your party favor for joining us in the booth, uh, a take home. Jeff, Corning CES 2017 booth is full of amazing Corning products. But besides the exhibits that we're seeing, what other Corning products are we showcasing here? Well, if you walk through any city or think about sitting in your home on a cold day, it's pretty evident what an important role glass plays in architecture. But advanced glass techniques are allowing some potentially new uses of glass in architecture, and we're featuring two of them in our booth in CES 2017. First, by pre precisely controlling patterns of holes in glass, we can almost eliminate the reflection of sound to give you a quieter, more comfortable environment. Second, we're using advances in optical fiber that moves from communications where you want to keep all the light in to lighting applications where you want to let the light out in a very uniform way. Our vibrance is not only integrated into our car, but into a light fixture that changes colors as the integrated speaker plays different beats. Innovations in glass technology have fundamentally changed the way we approach science and invention, providing the ultimate union of function and form through beautiful, tough, interactive surfaces. We're continually inspired by glass's capabilities, leading us to push boundaries and redefine possibilities of how we live, work, and play. Thanks for joining me here at CES. Until next time, I'm Maddie Gianne, and this is Inspired by Glass.